Meat is expected to get even more expensive, and one local farmer says we may soon be facing more serious food shortages. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Heidi Laga. Nine on your signs, Brian Brennan looked into the farm industry's rising costs. There are all sorts of contributing factors that can lead to rising costs for food items, even food shortages. One thing that could cause a major ripple effect, the price of corn. A farmer in a field may look like a charming scene, but they have to worry about budgets like any other business owner. This year, I've already exceeded last year's budget for fertilizer. Farmer and Marana Town Councilman John Post says his costs have gone up across the board. So even though he is selling wheat, cotton, and corn at higher prices, the budget isn't balancing out like it should. Well, the fertilizer price just took every hope of a profit out of there and, and, and added costs to it. The rising price of corn will lead to higher prices for the many items made with corn byproducts, but Bo says that's not even the worst part. It's also animal feed, right? Cows, chicken, pigs, all that kind of stuff. So you're talking about a product that has the, the supply of or the lack of has huge ramifications for you know, our country. The war in Ukraine also reportedly added to the strain on the global market for corn and other grains. So it's kind of economics 101. If uh, the supply tightens, the price goes up. Arizona Farm Bureau Outreach Director Julie Murphy agrees more expensive corn will lead to more expensive meat products. Where this impacts you and I as consumers is we're going to see a continuing increase in meat prices in the meat market. But and we've maybe already felt that pinch. Post paints an even more ominous picture. He says farmers and ranchers will need to scale back operations to offset costs. I think we're facing severe shortages in food uh, in the upcoming year for sure. Post says instead of supply chain issues making it hard to put products on the shelves, the next round of shortages will be from there just not being enough food produced. Brian Brennan, KGUN 9, on your side.